Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Cisco Packet Tracer Network Tutorial for Beginners. Siawash is here and today I want to talk about the inter VLAN routing by using the router on a stick method. So let's begin. As you can see in this scenario, we've got three different VLANs. One VLAN here, VLAN 50, for our server farms. The IP address range is 192.168.0.0/24 for this segment, and one IT department here, VLAN 100, 192.168.100.0/24 IP range, and finally we got the VLAN 200 for our sales department with 192.168.200.0/24 IP ranges. Previously, I set up this switch and assigned the VLAN. As you can see, different VLAN. Let's go inside the switch and double check all the configuration. Okay, switch is up. Enable. Show VLAN. And, and as you can see here, we got the VLAN 5020. All the ports are assigned properly to their specific ports. Let's back to the scenario and do some testing. I assign the IP address for each machine and PC here as well. Go to desktop, command prompt, and use the IP config. Yeah, 192.168.200.1. This machine, PC0, let's ping the PC1. 192.168.200.2. Yeah, our VLAN is working properly. We can ping our neighbors and the machines which are located at the same VLAN. Okay, let's try to access to the server PC. Let's do ping, ping 192.168.0.1 is our server. Press enter. Unfortunately, we don't receive any ping response. And the reason is that because this switch is divided to the different VLANs and each VLAN is only allowed to do the communication within the same VLAN. This machine only can do the communication with themselves. IT as well. Let me make sure that we show you IP config, the IP address range, and ping 192.168.0.1 our server. And also we couldn't ping the server from IT department. How we can solve this problem? There are two different solutions. In this video, I show you the first method, which is uh, known as a router on a stick. To do that, I bring one router. Let's use these generic routers like this. Usually, in your environment, these routers may connect it to the internet or whatever, no matter. And let's connect this switch to this router using the copper straight. Let's choose the Fast Ethernet 01, connect to the Fast Ethernet 00. To start the configuration, this link between the router and a stick router and your switch should be set as a trunk, so you know how to do that. Let's do this. So, in the switch configuration, interface FA0 slash 1 and switch port mode trunk. There is no encapsulation on this switch. As you can see, only I've got the allow and native. We allow all the VLANs and to make sure is a no shot and show interface funk and okay, don't have anything, yeah. yeah. Show run, check with this, yeah. Switch port mode is trunk and exit from here. Let's go on the router 0 to do the configuration. For the CLI mode, yeah, our router is up. No, no need to do the wizard to configuration your router. Press enter. Enable the router and go to the configuration mode. Before do that, uh, let me show the show IP interface brief. And you know, because I'm in a configuration mode, I use the keyword do to run my show. Command and as you can see, our fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 is unassigned and currently is administratively shut down. To configure the router on a stick, actually, you really don't need to assign any IP address on your main interface. You need to create some sub interface for each VLAN. 
fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 I go and only bring it up is now is administratively down okay no shot and okay is up now exit let's start with the VLAN 50 for our server farm interface FA 0 slash 0 now is important thing is press dot and your VLAN number for example this is for your ease of use yes, I use a question mark you can see a number of the sub interface I can create it but for logical purpose it's better we use the same number as our VLAN number okay now as you can see our interface uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 50 is also up and now we should set the encapsulation for this sub interface use the encapsulation showing you question mark what option we got dot 1 Q, which is the trunking languages and trunking protocol and after that we should choose which VLAN ID supposed to sign to this sub interface in this case VLAN 50 and after that you assign the IP address which is act as a gateway for that VLAN in this case I assign 192.168.0.250 this IP address is a gateway for machines in VLAN 50. Press enter and exit. Now interface FA0 slash 0. This time for VLAN 200 or sales department machines. And if I don't set the encapsulation, I couldn't assign the IP address. Let's see. IP address. 192.168.200.250.255.255.255.0 press enter and you see the command is rejected because we don't set the encapsulation so in setting the encapsulation is a very important encapsulation dot one q and this time VLAN 200 use up arrow key learn to use the up arrow key to make your configuration faster I use the up arrow key here also and this time for IT VLAN which is VLAN 100 set the encapsulation yeah this time encapsulation 100 and finally set the IP address for VLAN 100 gateway address okay now exit backup and show IP interface brief and as you can see here let me zoom it yeah okay it's better now our fast internet is up in here but we don't assign any IP addresses or anything and our sub interfaces 50, 100, 200 are also assigned with the IP addresses for the default gateway for those VLAN and the status is also up as you can see okay let's back and do some testing yeah we are in IP department and why not start with the IP IT machine okay go to the command prompt first of all let me do the ping for our gateway can I ping the gateway ping 192.168.100 what do you think oh for sure you should be able to ping the sub interface on this router as you can see when I send the ping the packets are coming to the switch go to this trunk and find the gateway so if you remember previously we don't have a ping to the, our server here let's do that again now this time ping 192.168.0.1 this server from here and press enter for first ping it may take time your machine send the IP address and voila you can get the ping back from our server side and you able to provide the communication let's do the same test with the PC0 which also previously couldn't ping that server far and yes now the same story happened IP config or PC0 in the sales department VLAN 200 send the ping to the server machine in VLAN 50 totally different VLAN and this router do the router on a stick and inter VLAN routing easily for you. As you can see in this example I use the layer 2 switch for providing inter VLAN 
uh, interviewer communication. In the next video, I show you how you can do this with the easier way with the layer three switches. Thank you for watching. Please apply these labs in, at home. Do some testing. Um, some people may asking in that case, is there communication provided between the laptop and the PC as well? The answer is yes. As as you can see, I try to ping the machine in the IT department from the sales department and as you can see we are just pinging. It's up to your organization and definition on your network. You may need or may not need this ping. By enabling the router on the stick, you enable the pings for all the VLAN when you configuration. Then you can apply some access list in real world environment to prevent this kind of uh, communication. I will show you in a coming video very soon. Don't worry about that. So bye for now. Please send your feedbacks as well as subscribe on our Facebook and YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you soon.